today I'm going to draw this sketch in paper by 53. So here I am at Bakewell Market. Actually it's an artisan market and I'm definitely going to get a few sketches here. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here. As you can see I went to an artisan market in Ashbourne. It was teeming down with rain. Didn't stop me getting excited about all the sketches that I'm going to do. I didn't do any there. It was just too wet. I didn't want to get my iPad wet. Uh, but I did buy some really nice cheese and uh, some coffee from a local merchant. So that was cool because it was helping out the uh, local people and not going to big stores. Because I'm into, um, I bought the coffee because it was wrapped in sort of paper bags and I'm into not um, wasting resources like buying jars and plastic and things. Definitely not into plastic. Anyway, that's another story. Let me get down to the sketch. Uh, I thought I would do this one, start it in coloured pencils, and I begin sort of roughing out some of the bigger shapes. Uh, so sort of going from big to small. I do that. I that, that sort of gives me the perspective of where everything's going or the scale I should say so and then when I get an area I then go into that and put in more detail as you can see now putting in these people and figures and things inside the shape that I've already created so I sort of continue putting in the detail and then I, as I move across the page I start um, getting in the bigger shapes again I just want to talk about um, the app paper by 53 it's just had an upgrade and there is um a couple of features in it that i really like that have definitely made it better one is when you hide the toolbar in the past i've had real problems trying to uh, swipe it back up and sometimes it sort of swipes the uh, app away and takes you to the uh, control panel but now they've got a, a little arrow that you can touch and it just brings the toolbar back up. So that's made that a lot easier. You could just see it then when the toolbar disappeared. Uh, that's made it um, much more easy to control that. So I was able to move in and out of the menu much more readily, which meant I could use more of the screen to draw on because previously I was avoiding closing the menu because it was so difficult to get back open again. So there I've closed it and you can see that little arrow. If you touch that, you can bring the menu back. So that is a really cool feature. The other one is previously, if you closed the drawing and went back to the actual sketchbook, if you went back into it again, you couldn't undo uh, what you'd previously drawn, uh, but now you can. So that's, that's cool if you accidentally close the drawing and you need to do undo something, you can go back into it and edit it again and use the undo tool. So uh, that's a nice touch as well. And there was something else I wanted to mention and it's gone. Oh, I know. Um, when I uh, installed the update, um, I, I quite often used the smudge tool with the finger and that had been disabled. So I had to go back into the settings to uh, switch that back on again. So I don't actually use that in this drawing because um, I was so sort of into the drawing and I tried the smudge and it didn't work. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll carry on with the drawing and, and finish that uh, as it is because I was well into it and I'll sort out this smudge issue later, which I did. Uh, so as you can see, I kind of went over this drawing concentrating on pencil work not thinking about uh, the watercolor wash at all and I was sort of kept changing the color of the pencil um, I put that tree in there because you've got this sort of um, slanting line of the roofs that if you used to follow it uh, to its extent you would fall off the edge of the paper so I put those trees in to sort of stop your eye wandering off the page and to force you to uh, f follow the uh, lines, I suppose, back into the painting again. So here we go in with a nice light wash. I start off with light washers, 
um, changing the colour in local area and sort of get a wash over the old sketch. And they're all pretty much similar um, tonal value, uh, the same depth uh, I, to start with. And then when I finish that, when I get all of those tones in, I think to myself, it looks a little bit insipid. I want something a bit heavier, something a bit darker, just to make it pop a little bit more. Although I suppose the delicate sketch, that's quite nice at the stage it's at right now. Oh, and I kind of, the colour that I used for emphasis in this drawing was green, and you can see I put it on the truck, then I echoed it on the guy's jacket that's standing in the foreground, and on the light of the traffic lights. Then I start working in this darker colour uh, for the, the shadows, and I, I think that adds a lot to it, makes it uh, pop a little bit more. And I use the pen tool unusually, I don't normally use that. And I suppose I would be using that like a white inking pen to just sort of put a few of those table legs in there. And then I go back in with the pencil, I darken up the colours, and I sort of go in and put a little bit more detail in, sharpening up edges really. I felt it needed something just to um, pick out detail here and there, and just sharpen up corners and edges and things. I just felt it looked a little bit um, wishy-washy, I suppose is the word I'm looking for there. So I'm really happy with this sketch. I think it, it um, came along quite nice. I don't know as if I would produce it as a painting. I'm not so sure it would work too well. But as a sketch, I really like it. I think the, the problem with the painting is the truck, that kind of coffee truck on the left-hand side, uh, would be... Uh, wrong in the composition i'd have to really think about how i'd have to change everything around the composition the truck sort of takes your eye out of the sketch uh, um i think it works as a sketch because i've sort of left the edge vague and, and what have you and not really drawn it but as a painting it might not be quite so easy to do so anyway that is pretty much the end of the drawing i want to thank you for staying with me till the end and uh, watching it with me if you have enjoyed this video a big thumbs up is appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and hitting that notification button because i have lots of videos all about digital painting and i would love to be sharing them with you so take care and hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye